Hey folks, how are we doing? Sean here, and I'm bringing you another video today in regards to debt. So in this video today, I'm going to be showing you just a couple of the solutions that you can go to if you're in the UK and you're having problems with your debts. Well, let's get into it. So the first place that you want to go, and I believe that this is the best place that you can go for completely free, impartial debt advice is Step Change. I'll log all of the um, links below in the description so you can easily get to them and have a look for yourself if you're struggling with any sort of debt. So what are step change so as you can see just in their title there they are a debt charity that helps anybody get out of debt or help them manage their debt so when you come to their main page you're gonna have quite a few options to go through um, and take your time going through all of this if this is what you need to do um purely because you need to understand what you're getting yourself into if you do decide to go down this road. So the services and solutions that they help, so they've got free debt help, breathing space, debt management plans, IVAs, uh, DROs or debt relief orders, bankruptcy advice, equity release advice, mortgage advice. Um, and then there's also got stuff down here for people in Scotland. So you've got your debt arrangement scheme, which is the same as a debt management plan and um, you've got your trust deed which is the same as an IVA that's the option that I chose for my debts uh, bankruptcy securization or bankruptcy minimal asset process so if you have assets um, that would be the one to go down and then more ways of getting help here um, I think the best place for anyone to start is like so just clicking on the the free debt advice going through all of this and seeing what type of help that you're going to need. So number one, it depends on the volume of debt that you've got. Um, so if you only have a couple of hundred pound, you know, they're going to come with a very simple and straightforward solution, contacting your uh, creditors and just explaining the situation and allowing a repayment plan with them. However, if you are in thousands of pounds of debt, um, some of these may be the way forward. So like I said, for me, I was in a trust deed. I had 60, six, about 66 or 67,000 pound of debt in total. Uh, from with a trust deed in Scotland. So I pay a set amount every single month uh for four years at the end of the four years my debt is completely wiped off and all my creditors had to agree to this term um and during that term as soon as it's agreed to you cannot be contacted by the creditors at all if they contact you then they're in breach of their agreement um and then you can actually put in a complaint uh to your trust deed uh scheme uh, and they'll handle everything for you. Um, I've not had a single contact, uh, either by phone or email, text, nothing, uh, since the day that my trusted was signed. Um, I'm in the last year of mine now, so I've got mm, 10 months left of paying mine, and then that is me completely debt free, and I can start rebuilding whatever I need to. So. You know, with credit and stuff like that, one day I want to be able to get a mortgage. I want to be able to um, ha hire and lease a car in my own name. Um, you know, things like that. I'm actually going to have the freedom to start doing um, because I won't have that debt hanging over me anymore. The other place to go is debt advice or money advice. Like I said, earlier on i will link both of these down in the description so they're quite easy and straightforward to find um this one um again is very very similar to um step change and it just depends which one looks easier for you or whichever one you have a better 
uh, rapport with. So here's just some of the things that um, they'll be able to help you with. So credit card debt, loans, utility bills, business debt, catalog debt, overdrafts, store cards, and unsecured loans. They'll have different options for reducing your debt and paying that off. Uh, like I said here, they'll have, yeah, so how does your debt work? So if you're struggling with unaffordable debt, you could be eligible for professional help uh, to write off parts of your debts. Um, like I said, that, that's the options that I went down because I just couldn't pay mine off. I would have been paying my debt off for about 30, 40 years if that was the case. Um, and that is just not realistic. Um, so don't be afraid to go looking for that help. You know, the help is out there. Um, and don't be afraid to tell them why you're in that sort of debt. Because, let's get back to the main camera. Purely because they need to know everything that's going on. So if, you, if you're going to lie to them, then they're not going to help you. You know, I told them exactly how I got my debts. You know, payday loans, credit cards, um, mobile phone finance, absolutely any simple way that I could get hold of finance, I done it. Um, you know, bank loans, guarantor loans. <laughs> you think about it, I probably did it. Um, you know, and I managed to pay off probably in the region of fifteen to twenty thousand pounds by myself before it, it was just completely unmanageable. Um, however, I was still gambling at the time, so if I did get some wins, it was paying off some parts of my debt, but it was a vicious circle. So one minute I would repay that debt and then I would take that debt back out again to gamble. So it, it's a very, very vicious cycle. And the good thing about the option that I chose is that it freezes all my access to any sort of credit. So for four, a minimum of four years, I cannot get any sort of credit in my name, even a mobile phone contract, can't get it. Um, so at the moment, you know, thankfully my partner, she has got pretty good credit. She took uh, a mobile number out in my name. Um, she's the only one that has a credit card. Um, I don't have access to that. You know, so there's loads and loads of, of options in reducing and solving your debt problems. But the biggest thing for me is that you need to be in a state of where you're coming away from gambling or you've reduced how much you're gambling and, and, and stuff like that because you need to be able to guarantee a certain amount of money to be paid off every month or every week to these people. And if you, if you fail in one or more payments, they can just completely take the agreement away. So, you know, it's something that you have to abide by, completely abide by, and, and don't make it any worse for yourself by, you know, ignoring them. Um, if you do miss a payment or if you know you're going to miss a payment, stuff like that, just get in touch with them and tell them what's happened. Um, but like I said, one of the important things here is to be going after this when you are in a cycle of recovery. Um, so once your gambling is down to a minimum and you know that you're not going to be going out there trying to get any more um, sort of credit that's going to become a debt, then this is when you need to start going down this line to try and clear the debt that you have. Folks, I really hope that you have enjoyed the content. Um, hopefully, we'll have a lot more of it coming very shortly. Um, get some more time on my hands to produce videos. In the comments below, guys, let me know what other sort of content you're wanting to watch. Um, any other advice or help, I'm definitely willing to put it out there. But again, thanks very much, everybody, and I will see you all in the next video. See you later.